Have you ever wondered why you crave sugar when you're stressed? Our lives revolve around things that makes us anxious or make it more complex. By the intervention of gadgets, with time, we learned to adapt smartphones and things around us controlled by phones becoming increasingly complicated. The human brain goes under tremendous stress that causes trigger to a brain region called HP axis through widely known as the bodily stress hormone. Cortisol affects differently bodily function. It, it is the primary glucoderoid released from the zona fasciculate layer of the adrenal cortex. The hypothalamus pituitary adrenaline axis regulates both the production and the secretion of cortisol. Cortisol release stimulates sugar cravings and sugar causes dopamine to be released, which is why we turn to sweet things when stressed. However, sugar makes the dopamine receptors in our brain less effective. So you crave more, isn't it? When stress is more on the cognitive level, the brain demands more energy. And this is what um, happens inside of us. The release of cortisol will trigger sugar craving to feel good. The body's highly focused on high food, desserts, high fat food like donuts, or anything that satates our palate and releases the hormone leptin. Excess release of cortisol will result in less release of hormone leptin, which means you eat a lot of sugar. That makes a lot of sense. How many of us can control sugar during stress? Think about it. It makes sense that cortisol is not just a stress hormone. It does more than protect our body and brain from inflammation and other chronic diseases. However, too much cortisol is not good for the body. This can lead to cushion syndrome, high blood pressure, muscle weakness, diabetic, chronic fatigue, and many other depending on your lifestyle. So one of the forms of stress in our lives is oxidative stress. It's happening these days. So one of the antioxidant that helps to cure oxidative stress, it is just an antioxidant which is Q 10 supplement, COQ10 supplement, uh, which decreases oxidative stress in the cells and improves mitochondrial function. Taking the supplement once a day after lunch can help you improve overall health and performance. The next thing you can do is you can uh, do is to meditate to reduce mental stress. Now, meditation is really good. This helps lessen the release of cortisol, which means you will not crave sugar. Or few cravings will sometimes be found. A walk alone in the nature will help calm your mind and improve the overall function of your brain long-term elevate cortisol levels have been associated with various 
chronic health conditions, including neurological disorders, and can impact quality of life and lifespan. This is really true. And if you take this seriously, you'll have your life on track. I hope this helps you understand cortisol. Take care of yourself. I'll see you next time on a new video. Thank you for showing your interest in your science. Please share, subscribe, and hit the like button. Also comment on how you like this video. If you have any questions, thank you.